Hi. This is part two of a three-part series over what I consider to be the most important plugins a teacher should install on their WordPress-based classroom website. In this video, I'll be going over the formatting plugin called Shortcodes Ultimate. In part one, I discussed the Comment Spam plugin at Kismet, and in the final video, I'll be going over my personal favorite plugin for a classroom website. Uh, it's called Quiz Tool Lite. Uh, returning our attention to the Shortcodes Ultimate plugin. Um, to describe what a shortcode is, um, it's a WordPress specific code that lets you do neat little things with very little effort. Um, you can almost think of a shortcode as being a shortcut because it reduces the amount of coding that you have to do tremendously. Uh, you can, with a shortcode, you can embed files or create objects that would normally require lots and lots of complicated code. To install the plugin, you would go to your WordPress site and you would go to the admin uh, page, the dashboard. I have my dashboard pulled up right here. And you would come down to plugins and then you would click on add new. At that point, you would be on a screen which looked like this. Go to your search plugins. You would look for short codes ultimate. Do your return. And then the first result should be the Shortcode Ultimates plugin. You'll install it by clicking on the Install button, and then once it's installed, you'll activate it. You'll know it's working because once this page has come up, you should have a Shortcodes menu button. Now, uh, one of the things that I've, I've noticed with this plugin is that very generic themes sometimes struggle to display the content. So instead of just using this base right theme, I'm going to switch to a very, very common theme called 2016 that comes with um, every WordPress uh, installation. So I'll activate this theme. We'll come over here, back to the main website. I'll refresh the page. You'll see the new theme is there. And okay, so the first thing that I want to look at here is here is the generic post that was created when uh, the WordPress installation was made. Now that we have the Shortcodes Ultimate plugin installed, we can do some really neat stuff. And so let's add a new post. This plugin has over 50 shortcodes associated with it. Um, for brevity's sake, I, I can't go over all 50, so I thought I would limit myself to three. And the three that I'm going to go over are the box shortcode, the spoiler shortcode, and the YouTube shortcode. Um, in all honesty, I don't even usually remember what the shortcodes themselves are because uh, the plugin comes with a cheat sheet. So one of the first things that I do when I'm starting a new post is I'll come to the shortcodes like I've just done here, right click on cheat sheet, and then open the link in a new tab. This tab will show all of the possible shortcodes. They're all listed over here. Pull quotes and frames, rows, columns. There's, as I said, over 50 of them. And I want to specifically right now look at the box shortcode. So I'm going to scroll down. I did a search for box, and I'm going to continue to come down until I find the box shortcode. I'm going to come over. This is the syntax which I want to copy. I'm going to copy it. I guess I did the keyboard command, but... I'll show you that I did that, and I'll come over here, and I'm just going to paste this in a couple of times. So the two parts to the shortcode that you need to be aware of are the box title and the box content. It, it's I use boxes on my classroom website to indicate different sections. Like we might have a bell ringer in class, and I would put that in that section. And then I might have some information that I want to pass out to the kids. And so I'll put that information there. 
And then I'll have maybe, hey, here's the question set that you need to do for the day. Usually I'll call that a question bank. And so now I've titled my sections. The only other thing I need to do now is give these sections some content. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through the content. I'm just going to try to break it up so you can see the effect of it. So here in the bell ringer, I would ask a question. Uh, here in the content, I might have, you know, five or six things that need to be gone over. And down here in the um, question bank area, once again, I might have some more questions. So at this point, I'm going to give this a title. I'll just call this a test post over the box short code. Um, I'm going to publish it. Should publish fairly quickly. Once it's published, I can come over here. And yeah, now this was the basic generic um, WordPress post. But if I refresh the page, you'll see the new post and you'll see how my sectioning has my sections have worked by having a bell ringer section, an information section, a question bank section, and um, so forth and so on. Once again, here's the original, and here's the new one. Now, obviously, I don't like the way this bulleting works, but that can be fixed at a later date. The idea is there. The second um, section that I'd like to look at, the second the second short code is the spoiler short code. Coming back over to my cheat sheet and I'm going to look for spoiler. Here's the spoiler short code. And here is a really, really great feature that uh, this plugin has is that you can nest short codes inside each other. So for my bell ringer section, I could ask the question and then I could have the spoiler, have the answer be hidden inside a spoiler. Once again, there's two, there's two things that I need to look at. I need to look at, I need to change the spoiler title. Maybe I would want to just call that the answer. I could say the bell ringer answer. And then I could have my answer, whatever I type in this section, would be hidden. Now, because this is nested, here's the entire spoiler code. It's nested inside this box code. Um, it will be inside that heading. So if I update this now, and I come back over, in my bell ringer section is where we're going to be looking. And I should be able to hit F5 to refresh it. And there's my answer. There's my hidden answer. It's a great, great use um, for the kids because they can work on the problem. They don't want to see the answer, but then they can check their work later. The final short code that I want to look at is uh, the YouTube short code. Uh, the nice thing about this YouTube uh, short code, and actually I like using the YouTube advanced short code, is that it gives you more options than the basic uh, YouTube embed code that you get from the YouTube website. So here, I'm going to copy this uh, short code. We're going to come back over to the post that we made earlier. Here's the information section. A lot of times I will want my, uh, I'll have my information, my lecture will actually be a video. So I'm inside the information section. This is the box for that. I'm going to nest this video inside that box. Now there's a lot of stuff here. The important thing that you need to look at is right here is where the YouTube URL goes. If you want to pay attention to what all these other things are, they, they're explained out here. One of the things that I like to make sure that uh, happens is I don't want related videos to show. And so I will usually t uh, change this to no. There's been several times where a related video has had um, inappropriate content. 
And I don't want that picture jumping on the screen in front of a bunch of 14-year-old boys. Um, so to get a URL to put inside there, um, you'd go to YouTube, you'd find the uh, video that you wanted to watch. And here, this looks like a good one. Underneath this, not for 30 seconds. Oh, that hurt. So I would find this share, and then this this URL is what I want to copy. And so then I can come back over here inside those two. I'm going to paste that URL, and then I think we should be. I'll change this to no, and I think we should be good. So I'm going to update this again. Once the site's updated, I can come back over here, refresh the page, and I should have the YouTube video located inside the uh, box, the information box. So that, in a nutshell, or is the... Oh, that just hurts every time. That, in a nutshell, are the three, what I consider the three most important short codes that can be used for a classroom website, but I could have just as easily included the top five or ten. I'm constantly using uh, this plugin for lots of different things in my classroom website. So in conclusion, if you're a teacher with a WordPress-based website, you want this plugin. Thank you.